welcome back in this demo video we'll discuss about copy bus master slab communication in between siemens plc and abb plc and this is part two in part one we already discuss mostly on the configuration about siemens plc see the plc siemens plc is cpu 1511 pn it has no copy bus port so we have taken a communication module that is cm 1542-5 and we have configured as a copy bus dp slab so today we'll discuss how we can configure that copy bus master module in abb plc to communicate siemens plc okay for that we need a gsd file so we'll download that gsd file from internet after write the module name or cpu name hit the enter button and you have to select the gsd file as your cpu firmware or module firmware version so click the profibus gsd file website here okay continue go down here you can see the lot of gsd file of cpu separate separate cpu okay s7400 cpu also here here you can see the communication processor communication module cpu here here is the cpu version 3 that is the latest version and this is true you have to check your cpu or module version in your project that version you have to download okay okay i have already download that version okay and here you can see that dot gsd file okay now i will create a new project in compact control builder as ac 800m and name it as a master slab com okay master slab com master slab okay you cannot give it as dash you have to give under score okay so here see that by default it's take taken pm 860 cpu you have to see there is no communication module okay so as i have shown you have to add a copy bus module that is ci854 master module so click hardware okay hardware okay now ci853 is a mode bus master module and we want to add the copy bus hardware so ci854 okay okay so this is ci854 you can add more okay one two three okay like this now i will add more the gsd file first see i have to add the cm1542 module but here it's not found the library so you have to add that library add that hardware gsd file in the hardware library so here i will add a new library name it as cm1542 okay 
okay here i will add that this is the file and that is in download folder okay but it show it's asks the hardware but here you can give a gsd okay so propibus dot gs okay gsd file click here okay enter okay now next see the model number is cm1542 description everything is here vendor name okay so here what you want to convert do you want to as a word import or the byte okay so i want as a byte or word no problem okay i'll take it all so select all next here we have to give next okay so here you have to select the channel select all and here 4 by 2 one din or 2 by 2 one din i want to transfer from siemens to mv as one word as a din here in abb it will as a din but in that double integer the data will be two byte same as one as a din and you do you want to it as a sign or unsigned so for now i'll give as a sign okay because all the value as a unsigned so i have given as a unsigned okay so conversion so all 764 new channel created okay okay now next okay okay finish so here all the channel is created still now see you have to add that library still you can see that library here okay okay but here you have to add that library also cm152 okay now you have to add that library as a 40 there i have give the address as a 40 okay propibus address given that cm1542 in siemens plc as a 40 okay so 40 will be the address so here you can see that 40 40 is the siemens plc cm1542 propibus module address okay so here now you have to now you have add only the module but the data how many data you have to receive how many data you want to transmit to that Siemens PLC that you have to add here okay so you have to add there are multiple options see there are multiple options how which one you have to set which one you have to configure that you have to select here okay so in Siemens we have add see we have add four see one first one is from master means from ABB plc to siemens plc as an input that 16 byte and other four is the output from the siemens so input in the abb and that all are 32 byte so 
you have to here you have to add like this so first one is the output from your output that 16 byte output from your 16 byte output from your ABB PLC okay from master and that will be the input in your Siemens PLC that 16 byte okay and next is the 32 byte input that is output from Siemens PLC okay so all four okay see that is like 4 byte okay let's see in the video that 32 byte 32 byte 34 section and total five section one section input four section output and same way four section will be input in ABB PLC and one section will be output okay so here you can see that here it's 16 byte means 2 byte during the hardware library creation we have select that 2 byte is equal to 1 word no sorry 2 byte is equal to 1 double integer and 1 word is equal to 1 double integer and that is unsigned so here you can see that double integer io channel and here it is 16 byte so 2 byte is equal to 1 double integer means 16 byte is equal to 8 double integer here it is 8 double integer from 0 to 7 and 8 is the channel status same way for 32 byte it is 16 from 0 to 15 okay so in that 16 word 16 byte the value you have sent through that channel will receive here here first 2 byte and same way that from q100 and 101 will input in here in 32 byte channel here so same way all the 32 byte here and here here will take the output from that Siemens PLC to PLC to here okay so let's go to every PLC where the the combination already made and data is coming let's go So I have connected both system Siemens and ABB system. Here the Siemens system. If I open that Siemens configuration, other configuration that this is CPU one five one 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 PNDT. It has no copy bus port. So one copy bus module that CM one five four two. Just five module installed, and if I go inside that module, see the profile bus address is 40, and operating mode is DP plug, and the configuration in here is five. See, it is five. 5 transfer area, first one is for input that is coming from a system and, and last 4 that are transfer from Siemens system to ABB system and output that is output, see that is output, ok and if I go to the program that data transfer to ok so this is 3133 and 2852 this is QW100 and this is QW104 
in between there is another word that is qw hundred two. Okay, now see if I open ABBC standard controller hardware and in first C I eight five four module configure the aggregate C I eight aggregate CM one five four two module. That if this was forty here also added as a four. Inside that module, there are five transfer area. First one is sixteen byte, and another four is thirty-two byte is. So that four transfer area is thirty-two byte input that is coming from a cement system, and that is coming, or that is transferred to cement system. So I want to see that data. We transfer from cement system that three one three three or inside that value here. Okay. See three one three three and two eight five two. So this is first area transfer area Q W hundred and second word is again two byte that hundred two and Hundred three. That is not here. Okay. So third by third word that is hundred four and hundred five byte inside that Q W one zero four. It has byte hundred four and hundred five. So it has the value two eight five two. Here is you can see that two eight five two. Okay. Here it is divided there to be total that Q W hundred zero two. See Q W hundred zero two six zero one one two. And here you can see six zero one. Okay. So guys, you can configure by this way master slab configuration.